the genetic disorder cystic fibrosis let's get to it oh man I almost forgot about my glasses well let's keep them over here for now and here we go it's science time I missed there we go so cystic fibrosis, or CF for short, is a genetic disorder that worsens over time and causes constant lung infections and limits the ability to breathe. CF damages both the lungs and digestive system. It is a rare life-threatening genetic disease that affects fewer than 200,000 Americans per year. It's still a lot if you think about it. CF is common within the white population in the United States. This disorder occurs in 1 in 2,500 to 3,500 white newborn babies. This disorder is less common in other ethnic groups affecting about 1 in 17,000 African Americans and 1 in 31,000 Asian Americans. Each child born to parents who both are carriers of the genetic disorder has a 1 in 4 chance of having the disease. Now, there are several symptoms and signs that signify whether or not a newborn baby has cystic fibrosis. Oh my goodness, that was a tongue twister. The symptoms vary depending on the severity of the disorder. As time passes, the symptoms may either worsen or improve in an individual. Some people may not experience any signs of CF until adolescence or adulthood. Individuals with CF have a higher than normal level of salt in their sweat. Most of the other signs are seen in the respiratory system and the digestive system. There are a multitude of respiratory signs and symptoms for CF. In an article from MayoClinic.com, it is stated that the thick and sticky mucus associated with cystic fibrosis clogs the tubes that carry air in and out of your lungs. Now this mucus can cause symptoms such as a persistent cough that produces thick mucus, wheezing, breathlessness, exercise intolerance, repeated lung infections, and inflamed nasal passages or a stuffy nose. Besides the symptoms of the respiratory system, there are many digestive signs that signify an individual has CF as well. These symptoms include foul-smelling greasy stools, aka uh, feces, or that's not good enough. Poor weight gain and growth, intestinal blockage, particularly in newborns, and severe constipation. Cystic fibrosis is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. This means that the offspring will have two recessive alleles from both of his or her parents. Those with a single working copy are carriers of the disorder and are otherwise mostly normal. The diagnosis of cystic fibrosis is a multi-step process. A complete diagnostic evaluation should include a sweat chloride test and a genetic or carrier test. So cystic fibrosis has no cure, no cure whatsoever, but it is treatable. The goals of the treatment include preventing and controlling lung infections, loosening and removing thick, sticky mucus from the lungs, providing enough nutrition, and preventing dehydration. There are several medications to help treat cystic fibrosis, such as antibiotics to treat and prevent lung infections, anti-inflammatory medications to lessen swelling in the airways in your lungs, and mucus thinning drugs to help you cough up the mucus, along with several other forms of medications. Besides medication, there is chest physical therapy, vest therapy, and other rehabilitation techniques which can help treat cystic fibrosis. Sadly, since this disorder is incurable, the life expectancy for someone with CF is about 37 years old. Although most children stay in good health until they reach adulthood, lung disease in young adults eventually worsens to the point where the individual is disabled. As of right now, there are several scientists and clinicians around the world expanding our knowledge of cystic fibrosis and translating discoveries in the laboratory into vital new treatments for people living with CF. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you 
in the next episode of Cody Talk Science. See you next year. I'm never coming back. Never doing this show again. Bye-bye.